five days from the August 8th special election. The Secretary of State's office reported this week that most counties in Ohio are short poll workers. 50 of the state's 88 counties have not met their goal, and of those 50 counties, 23 of them are still short of the minimum number of poll workers necessary to conduct the election. Now, in central Ohio, Athens, Delaware, Fayette, Knox, Licking, Madison, and Ross County are all short on workers. Right now, there's more controversy surrounding the August special election. Again, it's just a few days away. The Libertarian Party of Ohio has filed a complaint against Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose. 10 TV's Amy Steigerwald has been looking into this this morning, and she's at the Board of Elections. Amy. Yeah, good morning. That special election inching closer and closer every day. And like you mentioned, the Secretary of State's office is also facing uh, some questions regarding how they are specifically handling that election, especially when it comes to issue one. His office is in charge of running our special elections, Frank LaRose's office, including the one that is happening next week. But we know Frank LaRose himself has been an outspoken supporter of issue one. In short, the complaint filed by the Ohio Libertarian party says Frank LaRose is violating federal law that prevents someone from receiving federal funds for elections and then using their office to impact the outcome of an election. A reminder, issue one will determine if moving forward there must be a 60 percent majority to make a change to any constitutional amendments here in Ohio. One of those being abortion access, which voters will decide on in November. Here's what Frank LaRose had to say about this earlier this month. We don't want to see a really radical uh, abortion amendment put in our state constitution. This is about protecting our state constitution from out-of-state special interests. And this morning, we have reached out to Frank LaRose's office for a response to that complaint. We are waiting to hear back. Meantime, early voting continues here until uh, through the end of Sunday with that special election again happening on Tuesday. Live in Columbus, Amy Stuggerwald for 10TV News. Amy, thank you.